each other we can go on like this no 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 inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyi'ati a'malina man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu Verily all praise is due to Allah whom we seek his help and forgiveness. We seek refuge with Allah from the evils that we conceal and from the consequences of our evil deeds. Whosoever Allah grants guidance, none can misguide, and whosoever chooses misguidance, none can guide. وَأَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ And I attest that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah who has no partners. وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ And I attest that Muhammad is the final messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another episode my dear viewers of the Ideal Muslim. In this episode or in these episodes we are trying to gain more faith in the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we could be accepted and so that we could be those ideal Muslims. And in this episode specifically we are going to talk about something also very important. I know the previous ones I, I keep saying this is important, this is important, but it is, it really is. And that's why I say it's important. If it wasn't important I would say this is an unimportant topic or I probably wouldn't be even recording it, subhanAllah. So this one is important and that is the love for the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger. You want to make sure that if you want to be the ideal Muslim, you love the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much, you love Him more than anything. You follow His commands, you obey Him, you avoid His prohibitions, and you listen to the Qur'an attentively. Why? Because you love the Almighty Allah. You don't understand the Qur'an, you try your very best, you enroll in a university or a college and study about Islam, learn more about Islam. Why? So that you could understand what the Almighty Allah is saying to you in your prayers. We want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love us and we want the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to love us. How can they love us if we don't love them? We have to love them so much. I mean, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يُحْشَرُ الْمَرْءُ مَعَ مَنْ أَحَبْ Mankind, the person, the individual, will gather on the Day of Judgment with the people who he loves. So for example, on the Day of Judgment, if you used to love Michael Jackson, then you are going to gather with Michael Jackson. You're going to be standing right next to him, yeah? If he's going to paradise, then you're going to paradise with him. If he's going to the hellfire, then you're going to the hellfire with him. If you used to love Messi, the football player, then you will gather with him. If he's going to paradise, you're going to paradise as well. If he's going to the hellfire, you're going to the hellfire as well. Subhanallah. So if we choose the wrong person to love, this may lead to bad results. But if we choose the right person to love, then this will lead. Definitely it will lead to the best results. I mean, imagine loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and loving the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the companions, the four Khulafa al-Rashideen. Imagine loving them so much that you are with them on the Day of Judgment. Subhanallah. This Ummah, this Ummah is the best Ummah. Why? Because it is the last Ummah on this world, in this dunya. He is the last messenger, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it's going to be the first Ummah to enter paradise, subhanAllah. It's going to be the first Ummah to be accounted on the Day of Judgment. Don't you want to be the first one? Well, if you have so many bad deeds, you probably don't want to be the best one. But if you have good deeds, don't you want to be the first one to be accounted so that you could enter paradise immediately? Indeed, you do. Then you should love the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His commands. And you should love the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and His commands as well. And this is one of the conditions of La ilaha illallah and it is also one of the conditions of Muhammad Rasulullah. Many people say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah without having that feeling of love for the Almighty Allah. It's just, you know, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. He's just saying it. But if you have the feeling and the love and you follow the conditions of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, what happens then you will 
will be safe on the day of judgment. And you need the safety on the day of judgment. Who doesn't need that safety, right? I mean, subhanAllah, people are going to be running, crawling out of their graves, not knowing where to go, screaming and shouting. It's going to be a horrifying moment for many people. I mean, it's going to be terror. The other day in Saudi Arabia, there was a sandstorm. and people I want you to think about this. Think about this right now. 1,400 years ago, Allah sent a man in the desert, a man who conveyed a message to the people. He had no cameras, no media. He had almost nothing. He was in the middle of the desert. All he had was the glorious Quran, and he had the Almighty Allah. So he conveys his message. Many people hate him. Many people kill his friends and, you know, torture them. And not only that, but they give him a difficult time. And yet he remains patient. Why is he conveying this message? For you. He conveyed this message for you. For you to be safe on the day of judgment. Imagine if you didn't follow the message of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Do you think that you'd be safe on the day of judgment? Absolutely not. If you were like a Muslim who doesn't follow the commands of the Messenger of Allah. I mean the way he presented his message. The authentic hadith, the Quran, until this day, it's 1,400 years ago and it's still around until this day and people are, you know, like really mad. Why do we have to follow the Quran completely? I mean, I just want to pray five times a day. I don't want to do all these things. Yeah, what's wrong with you? What kind of Muslim are you? You want to enter paradise, then take it all. Take everything in this book. Why not? Take it with pleasure. Be pleased. I mean, take it with a hug and a smile. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me Islam was greater than that. Love it so much. Love the Almighty Allah. Love the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let me share with you a hadith, an authentic hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, if anyone possesses three qualities, he will experience the sweetness of Allah. If you possess three qualities, you will experience the sweetness of the Almighty Allah. Number one, that Allah and His Messenger are dearer to Him than anything. You love Allah and His Messenger more than anything. SubhanAllah. That He loves another person solely for Allah's sake. You love somebody for the sake of Allah. You don't love Him for dunya. You don't love Him for anything else. You don't love Him for money. But you love Him for Allah. If you love somebody for the sake of Allah, then this is the sweetness of faith that you are going to taste. Number three, and that He hates lapsing into disbelief as He would hate being cast into the fire he hates falling back into disbelief one day he was a disbeliever and now he hates to fall back into disbelief and he hates it so much that in the same form that he hates falling into the hellfire so the first one is to love the almighty Allah and his messenger more than he loves himself ask yourself this question do you love Allah and his messenger more than you love yourself that's a good question think about it yeah and the second one is to love people for the sake of Allah. Whoever you love, love them for the sake of Allah. Because when you love somebody for the sake of Allah, you will be safe on the day when there is no shade but the shade of Ar-Rahman, the merciful, the all-merciful. On the day of judgment, everybody's going to be under the sun. They're going to be tortured. Not everybody, but you know, a lot of people, the disbelievers, and some believers as well, except for some people, a group of people. Who are these people? They will be the people who loved each other for Allah's sake. So you had a friend, you loved him for Allah's sake, you didn't want any worldly benefit from him, you didn't want dunya from him, you didn't want money from him, you didn't want popularity from him, you didn't want anything from him except a reward from the Almighty Allah. So then Allah calls on these two people on the Day of Judgment and He says, where are my servants who loved each other for my sake? I shall shade them under my shade when there is no shade but my shade. SubhanAllah. So then you are under the shade of the Almighty Allah. Everybody's under the sun, but you're under the shade. Why? Because you loved somebody for the sake of Allah. If you love somebody for the sake of Allah, Allah protects you. And what's greater than that, if you get Allah to love you, Allah gives you. Yes? If Allah loves you, listen to this hadith. This hadith is authentic. If Allah loves a person, He calls on Jibreel. And He says, Verily, I love Fulan, so you shall love him. So then Jibreel loves Fulan. And then Jibreel calls upon all the angels in the skies, all these billions and billions and trillions of angels. And he says, Allah loves Fulan, so and so. Allah loves that person, so you shall love him. You have no choice. You should love this guy. So then all these angels, they love this person. Why? Because Allah loves him. Then what happens? 
acceptance is given to this person on earth. Everybody accepts him. Everybody wants to be around him, even his enemies. They probably don't like him so much, but they want to be around him. There's something good about this person. There is acceptance. SubhanAllah, this is the bounty of getting the Almighty Allah to love you. How can you get the Almighty Allah to love you if you don't love him? Make sure you love the Almighty Allah, you obey His commands, you do all the good deeds, you continuously ask Allah to forgive you. Oh Allah, I committed a sin, forgive my sin for me, and Allah will forgive you. And remember that if Allah loves you, everybody will love you. Jibreel will love you, the angels will love you, the people will accept you, and you will have more bounties from the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Jazakumullahu khairan. Until next time, inshaAllah, this is your brother Rayyan Arab. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We hate it on each other.